Hey guys, welcome to the Cut the Tone Podcast, brought to you by Higher Passion. I'm your host. What the fuck? Sorry, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. You chilling, you chilling. Hey guys, welcome to Cut the Tone Podcast, brought to you by Higher Passion. I'm your host, Abel. Got my boy Josh and Richie back in the house. What up, what up? How you boys doing tonight? Chilling, chilling, a little tired from work, but. Yeah, it's right. Here, bro. It's Tuesday, but. Yeah. It's alright, we just gotta keep going, right? <coughs> Gravy sharing don't stop for no one. Yes. So yeah, I'm surprised you know what day it is. I know. It's fucking day. Right? This pandemic has everyone fucked up, man. Oh, wait, Except if you work every day, then you it's, already it's know. Like, like, oh, shit, shit, no. Yeah, but My I mean, Friday's coming. Yes, guys. No, every day is a Friday for me. Just because I'm on a play at the moment. But I'm an entrepreneur in the making, so. That's good. It's alright. Hey. Um, we're all, we're all, we're all, grand, we're all grand differently, right? If every day is a Friday, no day is a Friday. Exactly. I don't have any days <laughs> off. Every day is. Try, I'll try to make money every, every day, you know? He's always wearing his Friday underwear. Yeah, that's right. So oh, let's get right into it with the topic for today. I've been watching a lot of, lately I've been catching myself watching a lot of sci fi movies. So what do you guys think is the best? What's the best out there you guys that you guys have seen? Or that you guys experienced back in the day to, mm-hmm. or even recently? Because I mean, that, the last one I watched was The Matrix, obviously old, but I was just thinking about it like, damn, man, man this was made a great trilogy. I like the trilogy itself. Do you guys, were you guys fans of The Matrix? Yeah, I was a good fan. I watched I watched them all. The first one for sure has to be the best. Yeah, first one was the best one. one definitely. Back to it. What about you, Richie? I'll bits and pieces of it, but you, you know, you I never know. got all into it. Red pill, blue pill. Oh, yeah. I that's, know that's where I came from, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the, from, that's the first one. If I'm thinking of like one of my favorite sci-fi movies, it's probably, it's probably uh, what was the movie? Alien? No. Alien Predator? Out mine it would have to be Interstellar. Interstellar? Interstellar? With, uh, with, uh, that one was pretty actually yeah. that's pretty good. That, that that I've only seen one. It's a whole lot of Oh no, it's kinda of off topic because well it's not as off topic. It's in science. Kinda of, you know how they live in a farm also? And then that, in science with that, the Mel Gibson. Yeah, that's the one I was gonna choose. Science? Yeah. That's a good one. That was great. That's the first Introduction to the aliens that I ever got in that movie was the just, science. That movie was freaking awesome. I got so, it. I got it. On, I got a piece of that movie tatted on me too. Damn, interesting. That's yeah. crazy. Science. Yeah. Is, you see that one? Oh uh, yeah, I've seen. That was a good one. Mister fucking up the bats and shit. It's a really good movie, man. <laughs> That's just well, scary. I mean, Mal Gibson and uh, like, fucking uh, Phoenix. Fucking Phoenix the brothers. Yeah. What's, what's your name? One the Cole Fanning. The Cole Fanning. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. confusing you with different. I think no, was, um, Abigail Breslin. Abigail Breslin. The Cole Fanning was in a. Uh, World of the Worlds, World, World, and then the, and then that kid World of the Worlds, right? Was, was uh, I think it's Macaulay Culkin's brother. One of the, one of the Culkins. Yeah. One of the Culkin brothers. Yeah. They're all tripping. They're all tripping out. They look the same. They're all tripping. <laughs> so yeah, man, I don't know why, but I don't lately been having also like I don't know something about movies, man. Right? Like what's what's you got time? If you ever if you ever had the time to, or if you were like for some reason you get questioned was. What would be the best movie you ever make? Like, what would be, what would be the best? Uh, what what what, you, what three actors would you make? Would you include in your movie? You can make a movie. Like, what kind of genre would you choose? And what three actors would you be in, in your movie? Genre to choose with three actors? Yeah. Ooh, that's a tough one. Like, I was, I, I've always been thinking. I've always thought about this question in my head. Like, if you ever had if you ever had that chance, like, to write an email, like, you know what, you should. Because lately movies are kind of been whack, you know. So I mean. I feel like like they, you could you could like benefit off a lot of people's ideas, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of fans especially. I wonder what's the easiest type of movie to make. Like an action movie would be pretty uh, easy. I still would go probably like something. I would go space. horror action. I would go like outer space alien kind of horror. Sci-fi scene. I'd get. I would have one. Who would be your character though? I would want to have Paul Walker. Yeah. Paul Walker, RP. Um, that's funny too because if one of my movies, I would want to have a James Gandolfini. James Gandolfini. Yeah. He's passed away too. Damn. See, see, it's not, see, not, now we're getting somewhere. Who else would you have? I'd get Ledger in there, too. Who's Ledger? No, he could be, a, he could be alive, I, too. I, I don't, well, then I'm just going to, like, my favorite, like, Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, it doesn't matter. Gyllenhaal's good. Gyllenhaal's yeah, good. Yeah, that was a good fucking actor, too. And I would choose a woman, too. Good. And I would, fuck, who would I choose for that kind of movie? I'm going to do a little plot twist. One has to die. So, let me choose. Let me let me think of that. You can't just, you can't just But I'm, I'm halfway through. I'm almost there. Let well, me the, think about this, guys. You guys you choose, choose a, a, a girl. Choose a shitty actor. I would. Charlize Theron would probably be in it. 
What? Charlie I love Charlie Sterns. Oh, Charlie Sterns, the man. <laughs> <laughs> the animal? He's awesome. Yeah, she's you're awesome. right. I love you. Uh, <laughs> she's awesome, I love you. <laughs> Mine would be John David Washington. Okay. He's killing her now. Yeah, dude, I think he's... I was. Uh, that's, who I I would, that's who I thought would. That's who I thought would would replace um, Chadwick Boseman. And Black Panther. Black that would Black be a great fucking. I think that's a good. That's actually really good. Richie, I actually agree with you on that. Maybe either. they could add him into the movie and he could have a part. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine. You never know. Yeah, I mean, he'd be. I think he'd be a he's, good uh, back or replacement, I guess. But I mean, he's been doing this thing. Damn. So I feel like he's one of my favorite actors now. Well, I haven't seen Tenet yet, but I Tenet was to, badass. I plan to. But yeah, yeah. I want to watch it in theaters. That's why. Yeah, it sucks. I'll get Emily Blunt then. Emily Blunt. Yeah. Oh, she's a good actress. Too. She's a good, yeah. They're really good actresses, acting actresses. It depends on what movie. Like, well, what the tone said. Like, what genre? Since I said action, I I good. Charlie Sterling would be in it. Uh-huh. If it's more like drama. She could do drama too. You get Vin Diesel. I probably go with like, if I'm gonna go with action, you know you want horror play. action. <laughs> I kind of want to see him naked too, you know. Who's gonna get naked in the? <laughs> who's who's you're gonna, gonna, you're probably gonna have to get. Well, young, you know you have to. You have, have to get a young well, Spartan. Mar- uh, was it Margot Mar- Robbie? Robbie? No, nah, I don't think she gets. She doesn't really get naked in movies. She's the last, around. the only like, well, I mean, the, the last part, the last movie I saw in was what the Wolf of Wall Street. And it was just a sub shit that she's naked. You never saw her. Maybe that's what it is, a fantasy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I would see her naked if I was But she's a much bigger star than no, no Harvey Weinstein shit, but mm. I'm pretty sure I would see her naked. She's a much bigger star now. Yeah. If I would go like drama, I'd probably go more like, um, like Viola Davis. I like her. But, okay. She's I'll go like Regina King. Regina King's good. I like her. I think it's fucking sexy. I actually go down naked. <laughs> Regina King, is she the girl baby boy? Is that her? Or what did she come out of? Yeah, the I baby watched boy, the, the night between the other and eight. Oh, she's Empire? She's the, she's the lady in Empire? Comes out in her Watchmen? Okay. Watchmen. <laughs> oh, okay. <I> <laughs> she comes out in uh, Bill Street Guitar, I think. She came out in Ray. Ray? Okay, yeah, I know you're talking about. So, I was thinking of the, what's the girl's name in, in uh, that comes out of Baby Boy. What's her name? Baby Boy? It is her. No, no, no. If you're talking about the, the girl who came out and watched me. She goes also on Friday, I think, no? Yeah. On well, Friday? Oh, that's... Oh, that, that's, uh, oh Taraji. That's Taraji. That's... No, that's, that's Empire. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking Taraji P. Henson. But the one who comes out on Friday is um, Nia Long. Oh, it's yeah. Nia Long. Yeah, she's sexy too, huh? Nia Long's beautiful. Wow. Uh, totally different. Or uh, Megan Good. Megan Good. Oh, that's very good. Cool. Uh, remember? Uh, Stay Chip- away. It's done. Stay away. Have you ever watched the... Uh, Stay away. Stay away? Stay away. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, shoot. You heard that, guy. Have you ever watched Saw 5? <laughs> no. I think that's that song. Comes out the last one I saw was probably part two. Uh, the last one I saw was like the third one. After just, that, I'm like, all right. I don't know if she's alive. She dies. Everyone dies. It's like he's dead, and then he like he comes back, and. You know. uh, imagine, dude, you're you're in a situation where you're like in Saw, dude. You get fucking kidnapped and you're in Vegas. I'm a good person, Saw. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is imagine the kid to be so good. <laughs> you're too good, Richard. You're gonna kidnap you and put you in a maze. <laughs> you chop up your arm. But why? For good, for helping for helping hands. There <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go. You gotta sacrifice your fingers. Yeah, you want an extra round of applause? <laughs> Each fingers for a gift you give him. God, these are animals. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think of those kind of movies though, where it's like more torture instead of? Like, I've never been a big. I've never be, been a big fan. Like hostile. Well, you guys Larry, I was talking to my friend Stefan, or our, our friend Stefan, mutual friend. <laughs> Dude, that's like, what's, what's one of the weapon. movies that really, like, changed your perspective, like, that kind of, like, shocked you, you know, like, kind of, like, just, like, you know, like, it made, it, it, it just, like, blow, it blew, it blows you away. It blew me away that had a gruesome part like that. Or, like, in a good way or a bad way, like, fuck, it uh, kind of weirded you out. Or I like, wouldn't, not weird me out, but it got me, like, so excited. 
I don't know if that's what you say, but I gotta say the intro to Logan. When he starts fucking chopping those people off. And oh, shit. With the truck and shit. Yeah. Oh, Dude, that scene. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, this fucking movie is gonna be. You know what part kind of got me pumped up? When uh, Darth Vader comes in from. Uh, when, uh, Ooh, and Rogue One? Rogue One, at the end, starts fucking. Oh, you hear it? Yeah, dude. Like, oh shoot. That I, part was hard, dude. You hear the lightsaber, you're like, oh, you know. He just lights up. The lightsaber just lights up. For me, that yeah. part was hard, dude. I was like, wow. Yeah, that, part was that part was sick as fuck. For me, feeling like a little like. Rush? Not rush, but. Excited? <laughs> Horniness? <laughs> Nervousness. Cool. Was in the interstellar where he goes into the black hole. Oh, that's true. And he gets stuck in there. Like, thinking, like. Imagine if that was that's you it. and you're stuck in there the rest of your life. That's it. Or whatever, however time is in there. Uh, oh, can you see like, Well, can you... I don't even think you survive it. I don't think it's possible to well, survive a black I mean, hole. No one knows because you know... You've never been... Yeah. You, no Cause one's cause ever been to, into a black hole. Yeah, uh, it just swallows everything up. But real. just like... Yeah, just like just... In my head, I was like, imagine being just... You're stuck in there now. Fuck. I, I, I just got all nervous. Should I, I, I got you just get you kind of toss the phone again yeah kind of that nah, that's pretty that's pretty interesting but that's just why that movie was so like mine was probably I like, so much. Wow, like one movie that tripped me out like in a weird way was um wow which one would it be it was um Back to the Hills Have Eyes that was kind of gruesome in my opinion not the Hills Have Eyes that's a porno I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said that probably. That's um, my favorite. Of, it's it's, 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 it's going to be on uh, Direct TV. It's funny because I used to house it for my aunt like, back in the day. In high school, she used to go on, on vacation. Mm-hmm. And um, I would house it. So she's like, oh, yeah, I have all the channels, the pay per view, whatever. So I go down the list. You should see Hill, the Hills Have Thighs. Three. Horny moms, this, you know, horny mm-hmm. that, dude. I'm like, what the hell? I never good, watched it. I swear to God, I put that, you know, I, you know, I, was like, <laughs> I put it down, dude. I never watch it. Anything. It's because I mean, if I if I order it, they just call on the bill, dude. It's gonna be like a like in Chappelle show, when uh, I couldn't I couldn't stream it, you know, when they do the training spouses, and then Chappelle goes like as a white dude, and he oh, said, "Team I mean? you gotta go to timeout," <laughs> and he goes to the timeout, he gets that lotion in a magazine. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right? dude, that's just funny, dude. Yeah, fucking yeah. This is um, I don't know. I, I got a lot of track we're talking about, dude. I don't know. Movie, what it, kind of movie it, it or that out. got you like? Oh yeah, the movie that kind of like give you like a certain like, oh, a certain yeah, a certain a, a certain emotion, like a yeah. certain you know, right. like so now. I mean, I chose Logan. You chose you chose Interstellar. You chose. Um, I said the black hole. You said Darth Vader. And oh, Darth Vader, yeah. Rogue One. Right. That's, so, so that's, that's one. That's one. That's 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 what we actually remember it. Like, like watching the theaters. Yeah. That's just like like well, it damn, bro. Well, Even well, the chills, you know, like damn. That's what usually makes I think like a good movie when you get like yeah. some type of like when you're but, watching a movie. And the whole movie was good. Or you're kind of sad. And you're like yeah, the whole movie was good. Even mm-hmm. if it's a sad movie, mm-hmm. it's like damn, this is a great fucking movie. You mm-hmm. know, it's like you know, like have you seen a. What was I think the boy in the blue pajamas or something like that? It's like, oh, it's yeah, like a yeah. war movie. That movie was fucking sad. You know, I watched it. I'm like, damn. And I, I, really call, I even called myself like tearing up. I was like, damn. The boy in the striped pajamas? The boy, the, the boy in the striped pajamas. Yeah, that was good. Okay, um, so let's go a little bit deeper on that. So what movie would you guys say? If you, guys, you, guys, Christ, you guys could say you've never cried. Passion of the Christ was good. You know you have, but like, what's the movie that has brought that some when, sort of tear to When you? a tear co- starts coming out, yes. I go, let's suck it back up. Go, <laughs> go backwards. I've never cried, fool. See? See, guys? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Passion of the Christ was one of them. I've never seen Passion of the Christ. I've seen Passion of the Christ and I didn't cry. Because oh. I love Jesus. Well, last oh, sad movie. Like, Jesus. Like, like, yeah, he loves Jesus, guys. Jesus loves me back too. So. Does, there's a reason. There's a there's a connection there, guys. But yeah, that was one one, one that one was pretty heartfelt. You know? Any Disney movie. <laughs> Any Disney movie. Really it makes you cry? Nah, uh, Coco got me really sad. I never seen Coco. No. no. Oh, we are watching. Okay. Tell me. I don't know why. <coughs> so I have two. I have two. That's why I know. I heard it's really it's great, dude. I, but I refuse to watch it. Actually, I have. I'm three. scared, dude. I want to cry. I have three. To be honest. Uh, like, but I'll save that answer. I'll save that up? answer for the other one. Um, John Q. That got oh, me sad. John Q. John Q. Probably crazy. Yeah. 
I probably cried in hardball when G Baby died. G Baby, huh? Oh, yeah. Damn. So sad. That this, shit was. Well, you just like laying there, like. Oh. And I was like, like 12, 10, 11 years old. You're like, no, G Baby. <laughs> Fuck, I got a girl like that. Of course. I cried at Pearl Harbor, too. I think I cried in that one, too. I didn't do it. I don't know. For I don't know. No, for I don't me, think, I don't think for it was probably, me, I would. I, I forgot what movie it was. It was a war movie, though. Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, Pursuit of Happiness. When you stuck in that one, that one was very dude. Well, he's in the restroom. The bathroom scene. The door. Yeah. Oh, that shit was sad. My part, my, my favorite part was when when, he, when, he, when uh we get the job, and that's pays him back, and he comes out of the street just like just happy. Just, yeah. Like just crying and fucking, you know, like damn, dude, that that scene just hit me, dude. Like, for, he hit another, rock bottom, bro. Another Will Smith. Fuck, Will Smith. Uh, seven pounds is good. Seven pounds is good. In, in the freaking or in I Am Legend when he kills his dog. Oh, I Am Legend too. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's when a when he Sam. That scene was sad as fuck too, man. No one likes to see a dog get killed. <laughs> uh, well, rabbit food, like. If I would have to go with animation, I mean, Lion King for sure as a kid that always and still to this day makes me. But we actually were talking about this movie earlier, Soul. Well, Soul. I, that first, the first, time, the first time I watched that movie, I was like, I'll "Watch tonight, guys." I was, God, uh, I was just mind blown, dude. It was like I had, it was just like I, had a, I was having a conversation with my girlfriend about that sort of like topic, and like you, you watched it, Yeah, if if you haven't seen Coco or Soul, I would I would say Coco was better. Oh hell no, Coco oh, was better. Too. Hell no, yeah, and it was it's not even close. All right, I'll check them both. But Soul was a good movie too. I have to watch them, I guess. Have you seen Onward? Yeah, I've seen Onward. I haven't seen Onward yet. No, it was good. You know what Thank you were watching recently? Uh, did I talk about it? Last week was Midsummer. Oh. Uh, that makes you cry. That makes um, you cry? That's one, that's one of the movies that we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty disturbing. <laughs> you, you seen it? Yeah, no, not yet. Oh. But yeah, the, I did tell you about Green Inferno, and then you had Ap- Apocalypto. Oh, yeah, we did talk about Apocalypto it. Too, that one Does it mean Apocalypto? So. No, the first one. What? Oh, so two, as also. also. No, we did. Apocalypto was really good. That's a good gruesome movie. Well, that was really graphic. It's pretty good. I cried every But day. since we were talking about Will Smith, what would you guys his best friends call his, first, his best friends? His best movie. Oh, best movie. Yeah, TV show. We already know Fresh Prince, but as a movie, what would what top three your favorite? What top? Pirates Pursuit of Happiness, my favorite. I like the. Uh, I am Legend. I like I Robot too, don't I? I Robot. I Robot was a classic for me. I think that out of the as fuck, huh? Independence Day. Independence Day is good. Mm-hmm. Friend in Black. Friend in Black. Those are good. First Man in Black was. Man in Black are kind of disturbing movies that back in the day for me. No, the cockroaches. Like, I remember fucking. Um, oh, that shit. Ugh. Us uh, learning the. My dad, dad hit. My dad. My dad would hate those movies, bro. Well, like cockroaches? <laughs> yeah. But that would get gross the fuck out. It's so funny. And he goes and drinks the... Dude, I read the movie. The sugar I, water? Yeah. More. So, yeah, more. <laughs> 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 That's just oh, dirty. Man. The first the, the first one, dude, he hated that movie, dude. It's so funny. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Obviously, Wild Wild West. <laughs> Wild Wild West is good, too. Oh. Damn, he has, he, has, he has a couple good ones, man. But I think Pursuit of Happiness for me is probably his top work. My opinion for me. It would be between that and I Am Legend. I Am Legend was one of my favorites too. Well, it's your three, I, right? Huh? It's your top three? I'm trying, I feel like I'm missing some movies. I, I Robot. I Robot was good. I Robot was really seven, good. I liked Seven Pounds, even though I felt like a lot of people didn't like that movie. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I liked it. It was good. It always has a good moral, it has a good moral to it, yeah? Like, uh, uh, okay, you got Bad Boys. Ooh, uh, I didn't, we didn't even mention Bad Boys, did we mention it? Focus. <laughs> Ooh, Focus was pretty good. Collateral yeah. Beauty. That movie was a little sad. Collateral Beauty? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Concussion. I haven't seen Concussion. Concussion, that... I like Concussion. Is it good? After Earth. Uh, after Earth. Hancock, Hitch. Hancock was pretty good. Ali. Oh, Hitch, yeah. Hitch was good. Ali was, uh, Ali was pretty good. Enemy of State. Wild Wild West. I liked Enemy of State. Damn, there's a lot of, fuck, there's a lot of movies I didn't, I, I watched by him that I didn't mention. Well, well, yeah, I would go. You kind of forget, huh? I'd go Pursuit, I Am Legend, and then a black person. I'll say my three: I Robot, I Am Legend, and uh, Pursuit of Happiness. No, well. Yeah, I'll probably stick to that list. Your list? The the um, I Am Legend, Pursuit of Happiness, and 
Iroha. Iroha was good, dude. I do like Iroha. I do. I love that movie. Dude, so I'm just thinking of like what movie would I watch if it's if it's on. Maybe Man of Black Part One too, because I really like that one. Yeah, yeah. I watch Independence. I watch those because those are good. And after that, I stopped watching Man of Black. I, I, I like the I like the three more. Yeah. yeah, I didn't watch the third one, but I still need to see that movie. Which one? Which one? The Quiet uh, Place. The Quiet Place. I didn't, I didn't watch the first no, one. No, not no, not yeah. It starts off slow, no? Uh, well, it's just quiet. My cousin said he watched it. It's just quiet. Yeah. Well, I'm saying thing, like man. he watched it in theaters and he was eating popcorn and he's just like. <laughs> Well, I talk about that. What's your favorite thing to snack on during the movie? Oh, at the movies or just overall, like if you're at home watching a movie? Or, like, All right, we'll talk about both phases. We got the movies. What you what you go to? You gotta go popcorn, right? Gotta go I popcorn. go popcorn with some jalapenos and some pita M and M's. I go. Mmm, perfect. All right. Well, look at me weird. I'm like, dude, you got to mix the, the the chocolate with the saltiness. Yeah. Of the popcorn. It does work. It, it works. Put them in there, dude. I already had Reese's Pieces. I was gonna I love Reese's Pieces, man. I was gonna slush. Okay, so. A little slushy? You like sucking? Fuck that. Fucking loud ass noise. Watch the quiet play. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you got the monsters in there, dude? Oh, he's like, he's like, he's like, okay, it's already done. What about, what about if you're at home? What, what if you're at home, like. You know what's funny? I don't really, like, when I'm at home, I really don't, like. Snacking? Yeah, I'll just watch the movie. Yeah, I'm not get to drink, but like I feel like I'll get distracted. Yeah, like I'm yeah, coming yeah. back and forth. Like all right, now I need a drink. Nah. Fuck, I need napkins. But, like I know if I'm gonna sit down and actually watch something, then yeah, like I'll usually grab. Man, that's, it just depends on my fridge. Oh, oh, I usually try to go uh, something sweet. Yeah, I, I, oh, no, nah, I just order something. Obviously, just nah. order, or something. Like, you know, I don't just, like going yeah, out. Or I just like order like much. actually get some food. Yeah, go to Canes. You like canes? I like canes. Well, is, is it, you been to the canes right there? Is it packed? Oh, yesterday. I, every actually, t- every I actually went after this last night. Uh, uh-huh. Fucking no. What time do they close? Like 3 a.m. They close that late? Yeah. The one that I stopped at Jack the Box like at 1.30. And it's still cracking like, out. And it was open and I was like, yeah. I thought they closed like at 10 or something. Not 3 a.m. Cool thing about Jack's over 24 hours. So yeah. always a snack there, huh? So we already talked about which is the most gruesome movie we've ever watched. No, huh? Yeah. No. Well, it's gruesome or yeah, gruesome. Which one, which one did you choose then? We talked a little bit about gruesome, like oh. Saw and shit, but which is the most gruesome movie? We talked, we talked about, about like what movie we had. Yeah, what, like what movie you had? Like Impact. Like, yeah. Uh, Impact. Like, a so, gruesome movie? Yeah, which is the most gruesome movie you ever watched? So like, Gory is... Give me, give me three movies. I'm gonna go with Kill Bill. <laughs> the fight scene at the end just... Oh, for real, like, huh? She kills the crazy... It's fucking, it's fucking uh, Tarantino, dude. Anything Tarantino at the end is usually pretty gruesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Django, dude. All this all food at the end is getting shot. Oh, dude. I'm trying to think. And this is something like, painful, dude. Like, they all, like, kind of die. I mean, I'm trying to think of a movie he did where it wasn't gruesome. Every movie pretty much has gruesome. Freaking Reservoir Dogs, you know, that cuts the guy's ear off. And they well, don't shoot each other at the end. Well... I know Buscemi's all stupid bloody. Yeah, they all get shot at the end, except, except for Buscemi, I think. What about uh, he, I think he runs Jackie, Brown. <coughs> Jackie Brown? I don't think Jackie Brown. That one's not gruesome, I think. That was more like a drama than a serious movie. I'm trying to remember how it ends. The heroin remember? Yeah, well, like, see, uh, Sam Jackson kills... Robert De Niro's character. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers, guys. If you haven't seen the movie, it's like 25 years old. Yeah. No. Well, anyways. So, which is the most gruesome movie? I'll go Kill no, Bill. We'll that's Saw, one. for sure. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was pretty nasty. Oh, uh, Texas was dope. Um, what's the, the one where they get uh, fucking trapped, like, underground? They go to, like, underground caves? Oh, um, the, um, the Descent? The descent. Yeah, that one was pretty nasty, you know? That one was dope. That one was pretty fucking oh, that nasty. That one like claustrophobia. Yeah, it was yeah, like fucking eat up your stomach. Like, <laughs> ah! Like, you start chewing on you. Ah! And it's so alive somehow. Like, after the, oh, help me. Or just the way it ends, right? Like, she thinks she gets out. That movie was a trip, dude. I, can't, I forgot about that movie. The descent was pretty fucking bad. Ah, that one was pretty hostile. Uh, hostile also was pretty fucking weird. <laughs> that movie was pretty hostile. Also hostile. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. I've never, I've never seen like the, I've seen parts of also. Cause just because I'm not like, like I said, like, I don't really like. The, I don't, I don't have, the, I can't stomach. I don't it. like I those gory movies really. I don't either. 
Like, I don't take a little bit of glory, but like, I don't mind that. It's too much. I don't mind that. I'm just too someone getting. My mid summer was pretty glory for me, dude. Um, I don't torture people. I have a loving heart. Oh, I did Green Inferno was one for me. <laughs> I didn't know what Green Inferno Is that the one where they go to like, uh, they run into like that, like, uh, indigenous or like yeah. native people? Yeah. That's what this movie is about to be summer. That's basically what it is. It's fucking weird, dude. Every time I, I in midsummer, like, the village. Huh? In midsummer, like, the village. Is it the village and the people, like. No, no, in the movie, the village. The movie, the village. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, they're like show on. When they end up at the end finding out that they're not they're in like modern times but they thought they were still still like whatever. Sounds like it, because these were it's like in the future, but they I've are, seen the trailer and like, that's how, they're, that's they're, they're like go. Amish. The Amish, there you go, yeah. Like Amish people, they live like in the fucking mountains and just their own they, they make their own food. I mean, I heard it was a good movie. But they're all shroomed out. It's crazy. Some drug guy on YouTube said they're all just shroomed good. out. <laughs> it's weird. Fuck it. It's weird. Ugh, <laughs> oh, it's it's scary, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh damn, I don't get anything like that. You just gotta watch. Trust me, Rich. You gotta watch it. It's weird, bro. You gonna be like, what the hell is going on? What? <clears throat> I still haven't seen Hereditary. Hereditary? Uh, that one is good. <clears throat> that one is good. good. Yeah. So, what's the best story movie you guys seen? So many, huh? I'm probably, have to, go I'm probably have to go with the um, Pineapple Express. Yeah. Uh, you, over I, half I, big, I, over uh, how high? They're good. Well, well, it's how high over was, how high? Me yeah, have Friday too. I, but I think my favorite one was Puff Puff Pass. I've never heard that movie before. The one with the good rehab to watch Shawshank Redemption. To yeah. watch Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, like the other. Who they, comes out of Who's famous in that movie? Um, the guy from the plays the uh, Sammy Show. Um, Eric, not Eric, um, put the glasses. Oh, uh, um, Hyde. Hyde. Hyde, yeah. Something Masters, right? Huh? David Masters? Chris? Yeah, they're, they're Masters Center for that. I don't know his name. I think you showed me a scene of it from the Yeah, from the, the rehab. Yeah. They're all smoking weed and shit. And then, uh, I didn't even know that was it until you showed me. That's a good movie. That's a really funny fucking story. I just, like, I just quote, like, Final Fantasy. Yeah. Final Fantasy yeah, Express is a great one. Quotable, I just quote Final Fantasy Express so much. <laughs> it's hilarious. Nah. Maybe half baked would probably be too. Yeah, yeah classics. Fine, Those are classics, dude. Uh, See, what we, else? we had the best movies. Huh. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think, like, Everyone especially comedy that. wise, like, from like. Chichin Chong. Chichin Chong are great. Jane Sound and Bob was funny too. Oh, Clerks, you know Clerks? Clerks? Yeah, Clerks. Clerks is funny. Is that a stoner movie? Yeah. Because they would, would be so. smoking outside. Yeah, they'd be blazing it. So anything with weed? Yeah. What is it, when there's a lot of weed involved. So like Knocked Up is a story movie. And definitely. That's definitely a story movie. Yeah. Oh, I don't know because no, I, I really like it. No, <laughs> Which one? I, I Love You Man. That's a really good movie with Jim Carrey. Oh, oh that, yeah, with the Paul Rudd. Yes, yes, man. man. That's I Love You Man, yeah. Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd. Paul Rudd and uh, Jason Segel. Jason Segel. That was a really funny movie. Well, so Judd Apatow movies are they all story movies? Who? Judd Apatow. So he did like Forty Year Old Virgin and yeah, Dr. I would say those are those are definitely. I don't, I don't know if he was. I, yeah, if I feel like I, they are. I'm assuming he was a part of Hollywood Express because he's a part of all the movies. Super bad. Yeah, those are those are those are like kind of story movies. Just comedy. Sort of comedy because they like, involve weed. Yeah, dude, trust and drugs like cocaine. But but when I think of story movie, I think of like constant weed smoking. Yeah, yeah those, like, those those definitely have. I think those are definitely like sort of movies. I like constant like Power Express. <coughs> constantly smoking weed. Yeah. So it's half baked like TJ Chan. Super bad. Well, the other scenes where they are smoking weed, like they do drugs, do cocaine. Remember? Yeah, but I don't know if that's a story movie. Yeah, I would say. So. If it is, then I guess. It's, There's a wide variety. I because guess the, I would have to say super bad. If it is a story movie. Why well, I consider because I watch the song so many times and it's so hilarious when you watch the Soder Sober. So, <laughs> it's a Soder movie. It's a Soder's movie. It's a Soder's movie? Yeah, it's not a Soder movie, but it's a Soder's movie. A yeah. movie that I like watching Stone. Because if, if it's funny, like Stone Flu, but it's about drinking, to a, but to the sober person, fest. then that's how, you know, it's a funny movie, dog, you know? So you have to take my advice then so when I see somebody's it's, it's, it's good to have another, the perspective of a simple person, you know? It's always good to have another another perspective. So, 
We were, ta- we were talking about best Will Smith movie, huh? Yeah. So, <clears throat> what about best movie soundtrack or song? Let's. What's one one of the like? What's what? What movie do you remember? What movie what comes song? to mind with like the best soundtrack? Uh, the coming right now. Yeah. Why not with that? Ended with this one. Yeah. Why not with that? Um. I really like the the um fucking Guardians of the Galaxy the first one. Oh, yeah, that soundtrack. soundtrack. That soundtrack was dope. That was great. Comp. Mine was from Argo. Argo. Was from Argo. I have to check that out. Oh, yeah. soundtrack. I, Argo, I like Argo. Argo, fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch that. It's great. That's one of her fun. Yeah. That was like that was one of like Ben Affleck's like comeback movies. Yeah. Like when he was like kind of down. That was a great. That's a great fucking movie. When they did like Argo and the town. Yeah, um, he had a little, he had a, he had a moment, he had a moment right there. Um, Gone Girl. Oh, he was on it, huh? Have, have you seen the, um, I like it. Have you seen the Cowan? Yeah. I like that. That was a trippy ass movie, huh? When he fucking goes in the room and starts fucking, oh, shit. Shin, yeah. yeah. that's crazy. That's a, that's a good movie. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, so like, what about that um, topic right there? Oh, do you start or what do you do? Oh, what should you choose? I'm going to go with Space Jam. <laughs> Space Jam, what? damn. Uh, no, so you like R. Kelly? No, no, no. R. Kelly. I just like the song. I just like the music. It's just feels special. Hey man, you know people make mistakes. It doesn't mean that they make good good music. And, uh, <laughs> aside from that, yeah. Can't judge anybody. Very talented. Who are we to judge, right? I like good music. I'll piss on you. Closet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much wraps it up for tonight's episode, guys. Be sure to follow. On YouTube and all the platforms, Instagram, Twitter, CutTheFilmPodcast.com on YouTube, on Higher Fashion Entertainment. But I fucked up, but y'all get the drift. Make sure to follow us on YouTube slash, uh, what's our, Higher Fashion Entertainment. Yeah, Higher Fashion Entertainment. You guys can follow our regular IGs that we have for Cut The Film as well. Feel me and judge them. I'm a little, I'm a little too excited right now. <laughs> I know, Sorry, yeah. I don't know what I'm yeah, saying. We right have now. multiple ones. We like hip hop and R and B. We got the rap beats and melodies podcast. We got Mr. Host right here, Abel, who's on our Forward Balls podcast. Forward Balls podcast, baby. Oh, all about Mr. Baseball. Jimothy, mm-hmm. which we're glad to have him. We're gonna have him. Oh, so did you come back, Jimmy? We, we did, and then we still, do we still continue mm-hmm. with the sports. You got Richie here with sports dogs. And four balls, baby. My and four right balls. There. I know he's the all star over here. There you go, my boy. And y'all can catch me if y'all like comic books and comic movies. Right. Heroes and Mutants. Uh, the Heroes and Mutants podcast. That's right, it's a good one right We're, there. It's all yeah. under the umbrella of higher, higher passion. passion. Yeah, but this is kind of Make sure you go on YouTube and subscribe, fellas. Thank and you ladies. Guys. Have a good night. God bless. Hey.